Hi, this is Kathy Dam, and I'm just going to walk you through the steps to complete your peer review for our research methods class. Okay, let's go through these steps. Once you're logged into our course, go ahead and click on Assignments. This is where you uploaded your introduction to begin with. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Peer Review. When I click on Peer Review and after I've read all the directions and read the rubric, I want you to go all the way to the bottom and click on View Complete. This is just how it looked when you uploaded your introduction. Now that you're here, I would like you to click on Write Reviews. What that means is that Turnitin is automatically assigning you a random paper from within the class and you get to write a review about it. So once I click on that, I am going to click Intro. Now I will be assigned a random student's paper that I can um, write about. You'll see the prompts over here on the right. I would like you to respond to each of these prompts. This will be the first way that I assess how you are reading the other student's paper. It says five word minimum. That's just to make sure that you don't accidentally skip one of these. Um, for example, if they have perfect APA style and you have nothing to say, then go ahead and find five words, of say, five words to say you have perfect APA style. But the rest of these, you should be able to say something um, um, within that five word minimum. I'm looking for way more than five words, but I don't want you to get away with uh, skipping any of these. So what you would do is read through the paper, get a sense for what they said. Then if you have any suggestions, you would type it in. So for, her, for example, if I wanted to comment on to the student and say, um, <clears throat> there were places in your paper that uh, needed some work, the grammar was not um, correct, and some words were used inappropriately. <laughs> Can't spell. Oh my gosh, in a brilliantly. <laughs> All right, well, learn how to spell before you <laughs> get on logged in. Um, I'm just going to fix that because I'm embarrassed. All right, um, if you can be specific, that would be great. If you find a place that you'd like to um, specifically reference, you can click in the document. So if I click somewhere in here, um, I could say something like, I liked the use of this word express. Or if you had something negative to say, like this was confusing or this part needed fixing, you can go ahead and um, put that bubble in there. The student will then be able to see that and I will be able to see that um, to see what comments you've made. But again, the instructions over here on the right will be the primary or the first place I look for your comments. So for each of these, I would like you to comment on their grammar, their suggestions for improving content. So if you feel like they needed to have more fleshing out of the theory, this would be where you talked about that. If it was confusing about where they were going or um, the direction of the paper, this might be where you would comment about that. Then I would like you to comment on the instructions so sorry, the suggestions for improving their structure. So if you felt like the paper had the content that it needed, but it didn't flow and that some paragraphs felt like they belonged elsewhere, or didn't quite follow the format that we needed in the class, this is where you would comment on that. Um, number four will be recommendations for new sources or ideas. If you know of research or papers that they should have talked about or would have been really helpful, this would be where you would put it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you know of all the work out there and you don't have to spend a lot of time looking up new stuff. But if you would say, let's say you say something like, oh, it would have been really neat if you could have found if there were any gender differences on this thing that you talked about here. Um, you could just make general references and say, I wonder if there, you could have found any research about this. Um, so this would just be any suggestions that you might have for them for additional resources that they could have looked up to really clarify the issues they were trying to make. And then down here again, if you see any uh, violation of APA rules, this is, would be where you would put it. If you feel as though they followed all the APA rules and you couldn't really find any mistakes, um, then you would just comment that you, you did well with APA style, good, uh, good job. So when you are all done, you will save and submit. Uh, I want to point out that all of your comments that you put in these bubbles by clicking on 
will be listed over here on the right as well. Um, so the student will see your uh, comments, both your question, your answers to my questions and your comments. They will not see your name, um, and that will help them benefit from your thought process to improve their writing style. And then I will use your question, answers, and comments to judge how well you critiqued their paper and base my points on that. Please email me if you have any questions, and um, good luck.